man it is with an absolutely heavy heart that i make this video right now um the creator and um scenario writer basically the creator of suikoden one two and three and the upcoming Ayuden chronicle hundred heroes has unfortunately passed away guys on february 6. Um, he had an ongoing complications with some illness as you just saw from the article and i'm absolutely heartbroken um, we have been covering this Ayuden journey together with so much excitement so much passion Suikoden means so much to every single one of us and um, to wake up to this news that the mastermind behind it all Miriyama um, has passed away is uh, it's very disheartening it's very depressing um, <laughs> and uh, we'll go ahead and read the statement and article together Yoshitaka Miriyama, creator of Suikoden and Yuden Chronicle, has died. His final game is due for release in April. Miriyama created the Suikoden series in the 1990s, produced, wrote, and directed the first three games before leaving Konami to become a freelance developer. In 2020, he founded Rabbit and Bear Studios and launched a Kickstarter campaign for Yuden Chronicle 100 Heroes, a spiritual successor. The campaign was hugely successful, becoming the third highest funded game in kickstarted history the official Yuden twitter says it is with a heavy heart and deep sadness we must inform you that yoshitaka miriyama the scenario writer for Yuden chronicle has passed away on february 6. Um, he was dealing with an in illness his family sincerely appreciates your prayers and support but asks for privacy and that no mail flowers or other offerings be sent <sighs> His hard work on the Yuden Chronicle was finished, but as his co-workers and friends, it saddened us to know that he won't get to see the reaction from his fans. However, even with those feelings, we need to accept the reality that he is no longer with us and continue to push his dream forward by, re by releasing a Yuden Chronicle to the world. We last saw Miriyama at the Taipei Game Show, and um, you know, I didn't know anything about his health conditions, but he still went to that event. He still went there to promote a Yuden Chronicle. He still went there to represent and hold down the team, even despite going through an illness. And as we can see here, he was on that stage and just trying to give us the best and most wonderful JRPG gaming experience possible. And um, the, the memories that he has helped us create and the memories that he fostered with those amazing first three Suikoden games still remain in our hearts to this very, very day. Those games have left such a big imprint on so many of us. We all talk about the impact and the in the the way that the Suikoden games influenced our hearts and gave us stories and the way that that story hit all of us. We still talk about the conclusion to the first True Rune story to this day. Um, and just to think about his story, the way that he rallied in 2020 to bring us this kickstarter with Ayuden Chronicle and to and to give the fans what we have been waiting for for so long and to think that he will not see the release of Ayuden Chronicle 100 Heroes is just a sombering um, lonely thought um, especially as we have all been doing this together and I know he would have wanted to see the reception from us um, all is not without hope though because the team will still live on rabbit and bear studios will continue to release a Yuden chronicle as miriyama's work on the game was technically done it is still coming out in april and uh we will rally together like the strong 108 stars that we are condolences go out to miriyama's family it goes out to his team it goes out to rabbit and bear studio we love you guys to my fellow suikoden and Ayuden fans just like the challenges that Joey, Rio, Hugo, Chris, all of our favorite characters faced, guys, we can get through this together as well. Muriyama would want us to stay, to stay at HQ. He would want us to remain in that castle and build that castle up together and fight back against the forces that are trying to keep us from being together. So let's honor his wish by continuing to look forward to Eunuch Chronicle. I will continue to cover this game and I will continue to be just as excited, if not even more excited, for Eudin Chronicle, knowing that this is the last masterpiece from Muriyama himself. I'm going to buy this game on every single console, even though I'm a backer. I'm going to buy it again, again, and again.
again 10 times over we're going to get a union chronicle to a million cells and beyond because that's how i want to honor you miriama ah yeah bro and uh we will rally together like the strong 108 stars that we are in fact we are greater than 108 it is millions of us sweet good and fans it is millions of us eu and stars and we will all rally together to remember and honor the memory of miriyama and all of his hard work that he put in for this game for us it is just sombering to even think about making this type of video i turned monetization off um this is just one of those news things that you don't want to report a tragedy in the jrpg community and this man has offered so much offered so much to this community and the impact that he made on jrpgs will never be forgotten his impact is legendary and it's just um i'm really speechless guys as a guy who can talk about a Yudin and suikoden all day as i was just bragging about in my live stream for the first time i'm actually speechless and the only words that can come to my mind are just thank you miriyama thank you rabbit and bear studios Thank you so much for just the amazing experiences we've had when it comes to this game. May we see you again in the Stars of Destiny, my friend. Yoshitaka Miriyama, rest in peace and thank you for everything you've done for us. So you can, you and fans, continue to think positive, guys. Look forward to the release of the game and I'll see y'all on the next video, man. Peace.